Hey everyone and welcome back to Programming Fields. I'm Omis Rana and in the last video of Laravel 11 series, we explored what classes are, its implementation along with the dependency injection and its creation in Laravel 11 using addition command. Today, in this video, we will talk about one more feature of Laravel 11 that is interface. So interface is a powerful tool for building well structured and maintainable code. It might seem like a complex concept at first, but by the end of this video, you will be creating and using them effectively in your Laravel projects. So whether you are a beginner Laravel developer or looking to improve your code organization, understanding interfaces will be a valuable asset. So buckle up and get ready to unlock the potential of interfaces in Laravel 11. But before we start practical example, let's understand what are the interfaces. To understand it better, let's imagine one example. So let's imagine you are building a house. You would not just start putting bricks together without a blueprint, right? So interfaces are just like blueprints for your code. Basically, they define a set of rules that a class must follow. These rules specify what methods a class needs to have and where expected via there, but not how they are implemented. Let's move to the practical part so that we will get some code on the screen and see how interfaces work in Laravel 11. So I have navigated to the VS Code editor and I already created one Laravel 11 application. So at the very first step, we will create an interface using PHP artisan command. So let's switch to terminal and here we will type PHP artisan make and let's hit enter first. And if you will scroll up, then you can see Laravel 11 introduced new command make interface so basically this will create an interface previously we were creating interface manually but now in laravel 11 we can generate interface using php artisan command okay so let's create it so we will type php artisan make colon interface okay if we will hit enter it will prompt for the interface name so let's give interface name as user interface okay so it created user interface now if you will check out to the app folder so inside app you can see this generated this user interface dot php but now if you want to keep this interface separate in a folder then we can generate that inside a folder itself so i will generate it inside an interface folder so i will rerun this command so i will type php artisan make interface and firstly i will create one folder as interfaces and inside this i will create user interface or let's hit enter now yes interface is created now so we can see inside our folder we have interfaces folder and inside this folder it created user interface so let me remove this old interface okay so interface is created now we will customize this interface to define some functions okay so let's define some function as public function get user uh, better we can define get user name okay and uh, I will specify the return type as a string. So this function is defined here. And uh, inside app, we have one classes folder that we already created in the previous video. So we have one class as user.php class. And uh, inside this class, basically I will implement that interface. So I will write implements user interface. Okay. And inside this class, we will implement that function. So let's copy this get username function and let's rename this function as get username. Rest I will remove these extra lines. Okay. So inside this user class, I have implemented this user interface function. So from here, it will return name. All right. Now let's come to the controller. So inside app HTTP controllers folder, we already have user controller. And inside this, I will call that user class function get username. So let's change this to get username. Okay. And inside this user controller, we already passed this dependency injection as user class. And using this object, I'm calling that user class function get username. Okay. So this is done. Now let's run this application. And let me check route first. So inside web.php, I already have one endpoint as user. So let me navigate to this route slash user. So we have a specified the return type as a string. So let's come back to the VS code editor. And in the interface, we have defined this function return type expected to be string. Now we have implemented this 
function inside this user class so from here we will have to specify this return type as same string all right because we are returning name in the form of a string so this is totally a string now let's save and come back to the browser now let's refresh it yes so it returned a string this is done now let's come back to the editor again so we have created one interface and we have defined this function and this function is implemented inside this user class all right so similar to this get username function we can define multiple functions inside the interface and we will have to implement those functions inside class itself so let's suppose if i want to display user email then i will have to define one more function as get user email and we will have return type as a string now we will have to implement this function inside user class so let's switch to user class and here we will create one more function as get user email and also we will specify this return type as a string and also we will specify this return type as a string and inside this i will return email address as admin at the rate programmingfields.com okay this is done now in order to execute this class function we will have to call this function inside user controller so inside user controller we have this get user function so let's duplicate this and here we will call get user email okay now let's save and come back to the browser now let's refresh and yes we can see we have name and email address all right now we will talk about dependency injection so similar to the class we can inject in the interface in the class constructor as in dependency injection okay so to understand this better let's create another class so here i will create one more class as php artisan make colon class and uh, i have one folder as classes inside this i will create user info all right let's see tanto yes inside this classes folder it generated user info class okay now inside this class we can pass that interface as in dependency so in order to do that firstly we will have to define one variable let's suppose public dollar user interface okay and inside this constructor i will pass user interface as in dependency and i will create one instance as user interface and inside this constructor i will assign that to dollar this user interface just like this okay this is done so this is the way to inject interface inside the class as we wrap up this video let's revise your understanding of interfaces in laravel 11 we have explored what interfaces are how to create and implement them and why they are valuable tool for building well structured and maintainable code however this is not ended up you will be able to see interfaces more in the upcoming videos in the series very soon we'll come up with a separate video for the laravel design patterns and in which we will use this very much so thank you for joining me on this exploration of interfaces in laravel 11 i hope you found this video informative and helpful now you have the tools to start creating and using interfaces effectively in your laravel projects feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to discuss a specific use cases for interfaces and also don't forget to like and subscribe programming fields for more laravel tutorials and tips see you soon in the next video